All right, guys. We're doing things a little different, pandemic style. <laughs> We're gonna make some duck fat whiskey today. This is the, I'm just gonna show you how to do the fat wash. Um, so you can make your own fat wash and spirits at home, whether it's duck or bacon or get crazy, do some weird stuff and then share it with me because I'm interested in what you did. Um, so we, what we're using today was we have some rendered duck fat. You get this at any grocery, or any like fancy grocery store, I guess. Um, I got mine at the local PCC in the freezer section. Um, you got your whiskey, just a good bourbon, a funnel, uh, something to measure with. So I have my jigger and then your firing pan. So let's get started. All right, so first thing you wanna do is pour out about three ounces of your whiskey into a glass. And that's what you're gonna drink while you make this because you need the space in the bottle and it's delicious. Next thing you do is we're gonna take two ounces of our duck fat because it expands a little um, and put it in the bottle. That way you have a little room to work. So we get our duck fat. That's where we use this, our, our jigger for this. Our measuring cup or whatever you wanna to use to measure out two ounces. Cool, two ounces. Take your two ounces of duck fat, put them in your hot pan. And just melt that down. You don't wanna get it super hot, but you know, liquid. So we give that some time and all right now it smells like duck in this house and all I want are some duck tacos <laughs> <laughs> but all we have is duck fat so we're gonna have to settle for duck whiskey <clears throat> so you take your cork out of your whiskey get your funnel pop that guy in there Take your rendered duck fat and just kind of pour that in there. It's going to be a little reactive at first. So now what we want to do is the really fun part. So what I've found with duck is for about the next six hours or so, since it's kind of softer than bacon, you want to just keep agitating the bottle. <laughs> So I used to do this during my shift. Um, so throughout the shift, I would just shake the bottle and just set like a timer for six hours. Now I just try to do it on my days off when I'm not working and I'm just sitting around the house and I'll just set a timer in the kitchen for six hours and I'll carry the bottle around with me all day and I'll practice my, uh, practice all my shaking for all these, <laughs> for all these drinks I'm not making right now. So six hours, shake, 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 shake. If it's bacon, four hours. Look it up, do your own experimentation. That's kind of what I found. All right guys, time has passed. You can tell because my beard is six hours longer. I've been shaking this, my arms are ripped because I've been shaking this for six hours. It's time for the overnight process where we take it and put it in the fridge. <laughs> what that is gonna do it's gonna cause all the fat that we just poured in there and we'll be shaking over for the last six hours to harden. And then we'll be able to strain it out tomorrow or in a couple days, whenever you get time. Um, what I like to do is you pull it out cold, you strain it through a coffee filter. Uh, it takes a little while, so you're just gonna have to sit there and pour and let it pour slow, drip slowly. There's other ways to do it, I'm sure they're a lot quicker, but I think that's, for me, the most thorough way to get like the most amount of the fat back out. And so you just really have kind of an essence instead of just like, gobs of fat in your mouth whenever you drink that so um we let that sit overnight and then tomorrow we strain which i just told you about awesome thanks guys all right today we're going to be doing the smoked duck manhattan that's right smoked duck manhattan it sounds delicious and it is quite delicious. It actually pairs really well with um, like duck tacos or something too. So if you go, if you want to go duck nuts, you can, you can go duck and nuts. <laughs> Let's get started. 
Uh, this is going to be a Manhattan, so we're going to use our mixing glass. <clears throat> because it's a stirred cocktail, let's make it look pretty. Start with your ice. So we're going to start with two ounces of our duck whiskey. So this is your duck fat whiskey. Three quarters of an ounce of the uh, Carpano. And then we're doing a one quarter, look, one quarter ounce Luxardo. Stir this up. There's a beautiful gunmetal spoon from Barfly. <laughs> Thanks again to Barfly for all these awesome products. What's the rule, guys? Stir for 30. Count to 30 in your head. I wasn't counting, so I figure we're probably about close to that. You count to 10 three times if you can't count to 30. If you can't count to 10, just look down in your hands. And do that three times. <laughs> All right, we top it off with our little atomizer of smoke. <laughs> there it is. We grab our little cherry here. Make sure we do our hands free for all those fearing the virus. You don't want to touch food. <laughs> oh, there we go. You know what? I like that better. Cool. Smoked Duck Manhattan, y'all. Cheers. Mm. That's a good memory. Mm.